Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part two of the same topic perimeter and area and we'll continue with the same exercise. So we already done few questions. You can have a look at the previous video. So here a wire is in the shape of a rectangle. Its length is 40 centimeter and breadth 22 centimeter. If the same wire is given the shape of a square, what will be the measure of each side? Also find which shape, rectangle or square encloses more area. This is one of the important question. And once you understand, it's very easy. So now see here, first what will we will write the given things. Length is 40, means this is in the form of a rectangle. The wire is in the shape of a rectangle. So the length and the breadth is given of it. So we can say length of rectangle is 40 centimeter and the breadth is 22 centimeter. So first thing, what are they going to do? Because this is a wire, that means we will take the first thing, the perimeter of that rectangle, the formula is twice into length plus breadth. So now the length and the breadth is given. You will just put the values in it. So you get two into the 62. So that is going to be 124 centimeter. And now they said that if the same wire, now look at here, same wire is given the shape of a square. Means what happens here, whatever the perimeter of this one rectangle, because this wire will be in the form of a rectangle, right? The, the same thing, whatever this is 124, and the same thing is going to fit oh, because it is this. They said the same wire is given the shape of a square. Means whatever the measurements are here, that will be also the perimeter of square is going to be the same of. It. So now we'll see first the perimeter of square. The formula is this is a perimeter of square that is 4s. So now you know the perimeter of rectangle is 124. So below this perimeter of square. You are going to put 124 is 4s. So now we will get first by this one, we, we are going to get the side. So 124, this is multiplication. So this is going to get divided. So when you divide this, you get 31. That is the side. So now what do you want here? They said, what will be the measure of each side? We got it. So now also find which shape rectangle or square encloses more area. So first thing we will find the area of the rectangle. So because we want who will enclose more area. So area of rectangle that is length into breadth. The formula is length into breadth. So 40 into 22 that will be 880 centimeter square. And area of square the formula is side square. So we got the side as 31. So that is 961. So of course this 961 will be more. So we can say therefore square encloses more area. So in this we have to use four formulas. But once you do it. Try to understand it, what it is. So you can do it step by step. And this is the final answer. So you are given two pieces of bread cut in the two following shapes. That is a triangular shape and the square shape. This is a triangular. This one is a triangular shape and this is the square shape. So you have to compare the perimeters. Perimeters of this and this and find also the areas. So now let us see for the triangular shape. So now you can see this is a. Can you see the dimensions are given? The, wherever this 10 means, this side is 10. This is 8 and this is 6. So perimeter of rectangle means perimeter, you know, sum of all sides. So you will add this one, 6 plus 8 plus 10. So you get 24 centimeter. So now we will see because this is a, because this is given here, 90 degrees. So this is a right triangle. So the formula for the right triangle is half into base into height. So this is the base and this is the height. So that will be 6 into 8, that is going to be 24 centimeter square. So area of right triangle, that is going to be 24. Now let us see further, then let, uh, later on we are going to compare it. Now let us see for this square. So the per perimeter of square is, this is 4s. So this is going to be 4 into 6, that is going to be 24 centimeter. And then area of square, that is going to be side square, that will be 6 into 6, that is going to be 36 centimeter square. So the perimeter now, what did they say? To compare the perimeters and find the shapes and so you can see here this is 24 centimeter perimeter of triangle and you can also see here the perimeter of square also is 24 centimeter so what we can see here perimeter you are going to compare means perimeter of triangle is equal to perimeter of square find the area for a rectangular plot whose one side is 8 meter long and diagonal is of length 17 meter so what we have to do here because this is a rectangle so here the length is going to be 8 meter and this diagonal 
this is going to be how much they said this is 17 this is 17 so you don't know you have to find out this side so what we can do if we can say let the other side be this let it be x so now what will it is diagonal scroll you know this one because now this is a rectangle oh, sorry this is a triangle so you know this one this is the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse and this is the base and this is the height of it so what you have to do by using the theorem that is the Pythagorean, so this diagonal square means is the hypotenuse square so this is the diagonal square this side side one square plus side two square we can also say base square all the side this is side one and this is the side two square so any any ways we can do it so diagonal square means this is going to be 17 square one side is given this is given as 8 so we can put here 8 square for this one 8 square and we don't know this side so we are considered the other side as x so we can say x square so this step is important so now when you take the square of this that will be 17 into 17 that is going to be 289 64 8 is a 64 and this is x square so if we take here 64 on this side so two, this will be 225 is equal to x square so now this when you square both the sides so what happens here squaring both the sides means this is going to go that will be x and so 15 into 15 is 225 so here yeah, that is 15 x is 15 so what did they say we want the area so area of this that is a rectangle length into breadth so now we know this we got this was the so this one side we can take as 15 so length is 15 and the breadth is already given that is 8 so we can write 15 into 8 that is going to be 120 meter square so we can see area of rectangular plot is 120 meter square the length of a rectangle length and breadth of a rectangular plot are in the ratio that is given as 4 is to 3 if the area of the plot is 1728 meter square find its perimeter so now let the length of the rectangular plot be we can say because this ratio is given as 4 is to 3 so let me consider this as length and this as breadth so that we will consider 4x and breadth be 3x and the area is given as 1728 meter square so area of plot that is because it is in the form of a rectangle so you know the formula that is area of plot that is length into breadth so area is given 1728 so below this you are going to write here area this is a length is 4x and the breadth is 3x so 1728 that is going to be 12x square so 1728 divided by 12 that is going to be x square so this is going to be 144 is equal to x square so when you square both sides so what will you get here x will be a root of 144 that will be x will be 12 meter so because 12 12 is 144 so now what you can see here so length of rectangular plot we can say now this is we got the value of x so length is 4x so 4 into 12 that is going to be 48 meter and breadth of rectangular plot that is 3x that is 3 into 12 that will be 36 meter so now we want the here what did they say find its perimeter so perimeter of rectangle we got the length and the breadth so twice into length plus breadth so that will be 48 and this we are going to add here so that will be 84 that will be 168 meter so the perimeter is 168 meter find the area of a square whose diagonal length is 14 meter so now see here when it is 14 so now suppose we are taking this square and this is the diagonal of it this is 14 so now because it is a square so this and this side is going to be the same so what we'll do let each side of the square be x centimeter we are just going to talk about this now this triangle in the square so now area of square that is side square and you know this side square means this into this one so that is going to be x square and this is a right triangle so you know why it's a right angle because here i have given here this is 90 degree so what we are going to do this is the hypotenuse of it so we can say in right angle triangle ac square this one this ac square this is going to be square of this one plus side of side this one bc square so this is the step so now we are just going to plug in the values here so that will be 14 square because ac is 14 14 square is equal to this is x square plus x square so here 14 into 14 will give to be 196 and this when you add x square plus x square so actually there is one over here so one plus one means two two x square so just concentrate on this step so now 196 and divided by 2 that will be x square so when you divide this one so that is going to be 98 so 98 is equal to x square so we can see area of square is equal to x square so that is 98 
meter square. All you can do one thing, the other way what you can do, there is a formula, area is equal to diagonal square divided by 2. So you know the diagonal, the diagonal is given, this is given as 14. So for, you are going to take 14 square divided by 2. So what will you write here, 14 into 14 divided by 2. So this is the one of the easiest way, but only the thing is here you have to remember this separate formula. So you can do anyways. So that is going to be 98 meter square. You have again the same, but then I have done with that formula, or you can also follow the previous uh, method, whichever you feel easy. So 0 0.8 meter, uh, this one centimeter, it is given, so you have to find the area of it. So same thing, diagonal is given as 0 0.8, so you are going to put it over here. So that is going to be 0 divided by 2, that is 0 0.32 centimeter square, because it, this is in centimeter. Now find the area of the shaded part of the square of diagonal 12 centimeters. So this is the shaded part given. So you have to find this one. So you, if you are using this formula because the diagonal is given over here. So now we have to find the, the shaded part of it. So area is equal to diagonal square divided by 2. So this is 12 given here 12. So 12 square divided by 2. So that is going to be 12 into 12 is going to be 144. So 144 divided by 2, that will be 72 centimeter square. So actually here what you can see this 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 triangles in it. So first thing what we are going to do, there are 4 triangles in a square. So area of triangle will be how much? That will be area of square divided by 4. Because from this one, this is the square. From that we are going to divide this 4. So what will you do? Because it is the that there are four triangles in it so what will you get you got already here you got the area so now what will you do we can say 72 divided by 4 that is going to be 18 centimeter square this is for how many four triangles it is going to be 18 centimeter so we just this one this is just for the area of one triangle this is going to be 18 sorry so we wanted this here for one we got as 18 so we have here two triangles so what we can do here so area of two triangles that is going to be 2 into 18 so that is going to be 36 centimeter square so we can say area of shaded part that is 36 centimeter square so this is the answer so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you